Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back for a brand new video. So as we can tell, we're in the new car. I feel like because I've got a new car, we have to film a drive with me because I love drive with me's. I've been filmed so many drive with me's in my old car. So we need to start off the drive with me's again in the new car. I'm so dumb by the way, because I was just with Daisy, like parked in a car park in Cambridge and I've just had to drive all the way home because I completely forgot to take my camera with me when I could have just filmed it there. I'm gonna go for a little drive, of course. I've done a little Q and A on my stories as per usual. I have actually already got a Starbucks by the way, but I am gonna park costa i was like can i park at costa even though i haven't bought anything but apparently it's fine i can let's go bitches see when i tell you i am absolutely loving the new car it is so weird though going from this oh my god there's a tractor ah! it's so weird to go from this like compared to my old car see i feel so grateful still like i can't even believe this is my little car ah! oh there's another tractor that driver probably just saw me scream and was like, are you okay? Sorry, I'm now at Costa because my memory card literally ran out of storage, but I'm actually low-key. I'm trading Costa right now because I've got a Starbucks in here. Got a caramel iced latte. I still prefer Costa coffee though. We'll start off with a few car questions and then we'll go into other shit. So what made you want a BMW? And to be honest, I feel like it was between, for me, a BMW or a Mercedes. And I've just seen so many people get a Mercedes and I was like, oh. so I didn't really want to get the same car that loads of people have and like that I see on socials. So I was like, oh, let me just have a little look at BMW. I remember looking at the BMW website and like building my car and I found this one and I just knew that I wanted it instantly. Like it was the colour for me as well. The colour's just so sick. Also, I literally found this, had my heart set on this, went and viewed it, absolutely loved it and went, okay, sweet, done. Yeah, I just found this one and just knew that this was the one. Not me acting like I'm literally marrying the car, that this one was the one. You also asked if I had a name for it. Yeah, and I actually don't have a name for it. So comment down below what you think I should call my BMW. Because I feel like it needs to start with a B, but I don't really know. Beatrice? I can't call my BMW Beatrice. <laughs> But yeah, let me know. I'm trying to think of names on my head. All I can think of was Beatrice, which is so random. Comment any car names down below and we can name her together. Does your car park for itself? Um, no. I could have added that on. And to be honest, I was really, really considering adding it on. Like, I was looking, I was like... Do I just fucking do it? I did speak to a few people and some people said that the car parking thing isn't like it's good, but it's not amazing. Like it depends on the size of the space and stuff. And it was quite a bit of money to add on. And I was like, I just, it's just not worth it. I can learn to park it. It has like sensors and stuff and it has like the screen that comes up and it shows you kind of like how close you are to things. So it's been fine so far. Don't get me wrong. I've not parked in the middle of two cars yet. I've done the most dodgiest car park when I was with Daisy earlier. Like I was basically taking up two spaces and Daisy was like, this is why I didn't park next to you. And I was like, oh my God, I'm that annoying fucking BMW driver. I've been on my full on coffee addiction era guys and it's getting really bad. I think I've been having like two to three coffees a day and I'm literally like bouncing off the walls. Well, I haven't had a cup of tea in three days. All I've been doing is drinking coffee. No, who am I? Who actually am I? You all know how obsessed I am with tea and I haven't had a cup of tea in three days. I need to have a cup of tea tonight because that isn't, that isn't okay. Also, in case none of you know, me and Daisy have started a podcast. It's called Passenger Princesses. I feel like quite a lot of you will know about this now if you follow me on socials because I feel like I've been posting quite a lot about it just because I'm so excited. I went in the car. Our first episode was kind of a little bit of an intro app. I'll make sure to link it down below, but the rest of it's going to be like boy talk, girl talk, that kind of vibe. I really want you guys to get involved. The Instagram is at Passenger Princesses Pod X. I'll make sure as well to link it down below. You guys can go and get involved. We've got anonymous links so you guys can send stuff in anonymously. Quite a lot of you are like what made you want to do another podcast how did the new podcast come about and it only actually like was a thing like literally a week ago i'm not even joking i was with daisy we were sitting i can't remember where we were but i feel like we were in the car like i have a vision of us sitting in the car together and daisy went to me oh i really want to start a podcast but she didn't say it in terms of like she just kind of said it as a throwaway comment and said like she really wanted and i was like oh my god i really want to do one too and i'd been wanting to do one and i was going to do one on my own but I just feel like it's not as fun on your own. I don't, I credit the people that do a podcast on their own because I feel like I just need a little bit of someone to bounce off with. And I just went, yeah, I want to do one too. Let's just fucking do it. We literally sat, brainstormed loads of ideas and went, sweet, let's do it next week. That's literally how it went down. I also DIY'd these. They're so shit, but I also love it at the same time. And I literally typed in pink stickers on Amazon. 
and these came up how sick are they cups from pretty little thing as well in case anyone's wondering and i got my starbucks three hours ago and can you hear the ice is still in there oh sorry another car question what model is the car it's a bmw 2 series it's the coupe so it's only the three door version how are you you seem so happy at the moment honestly i am i feel like i'm just thriving i'm living life and thriving at the moment i just feel like i'm in such a good place now i'm gonna have ups and downs at the moment i'm making the most of thriving <laughs> like i'm loving it like with uni and other shit that i've had going on this year like i'm finally over it over the situations and i'm like moved on from everything now and that, i think that's why i'm just so content surrounded by the bestest people in my life as well which i'm so grateful for someone said how to stay positive girl love your vibes i feel like i really grew up in a sense of like i speak about this so many times in my videos you're putting me like channel i've heard this a million times before i genuinely live by everything happens for a reason i genuinely think that's how i get through and i do really believe in like if you put out good vibes you get good vibes back and that's kind of how I live. Like I'm so busy, I just don't even have time to be sad. And I'm like, I sit here and I'm like, I'm doing my dream job. I've got my dream car. Like, what do I even like? I have. What do I even have to be sad about? Don't get me wrong. I have had like my down days, especially when I finished uni. That was quite hard. Like after my graduation stuff, I feel like it's just because it's a complete end of an era, and you're like, fucking hell. Then three years have just gone by so fast. If you didn't go to influencing, what else would your dream job be? It would definitely be working in fashion. Like, that's originally why I went to uni, because I really wanted to work in fashion. And fashion isn't necessarily... I don't know now, but when I was going to uni, I was like, how the fuck am I going to get into fashion without a degree or any form of experience? So that's kind of why I went to uni. So I'd definitely be working in fashion. I think the job role I would want to do would definitely be like a stylist. I would love to style people like that would probably be the job I'd go into. Honestly, I've always loved social media, so maybe doing like social media marketing for a brand, like that's probably what I would do. But having said that, I always knew that I wanted to work for myself and that I never wanted to work for anyone. Always, even before influencing, like when I was at college doing fashion, my dream was to start my own clothing brand. Someone also asked what's next for me, and that is what's next for me, like my clothing brand. I'm hoping to launch it within the next year. Hopefully not a year, hopefully sooner than a year. But that is what's next for me. That is now what I'm gonna be grinding to do at the moment i'm just trying to get myself to a place where i've got everything organized i've got three weeks in the diary where i can like properly start because i know as soon as i've got myself on a roll i'll be fine i had a lot of work i've been super busy make sure that when i get it properly started i can put my 110 percent all into it life's just been a whirlwind so i'm just getting myself now back into a routine so that i can get that started but everything's basically ready to go that's honestly been my biggest dream so i'm really excited for it any more holidays plan so originally i had i had done my holidays for the year and i done a ridiculous amount of holidays like like i say never in my life have i been that lucky enough and been able to go away like this much like some years i wouldn't even go abroad growing up actually going to marbella next week monday to thursday my stepdad basically has apartments there so when the tenants leave he does like long-term rentals so when the tenants leave he needs to go over there and check it out and just make sure everything's okay and he asked me and my mum if we wanted to go along just to go for some nice dinner basically me catching a tan that's what i'm gonna be doing because i had nothing on next week i was like oh my god yeah i might as well just for a little holiday just to literally town and go for some nice dinners and i'm going on a brand trip at the end of the month which I'm really excited about. Daisy's actually coming as well, which, oh my God, I can't, I'm so excited that we're going on a brand trip together. Like that brings me so much joy. This is the one I'm most excited for because I have always, 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 always wanted to go to Dubai. It's been my biggest dream to be able to go and I'm going in October. Ooh, which I'm really excited about. Me being single and an only child means I'm going with my mum and stepdad, basically being a third wheel. No, I'm not a third wheel, but yeah, it's me and my mum and my stepdad going. And we're going for a week. Someone asked any boy gossip. No boy gossip. I speak about it a lot in the podcast. Boy and tell will be revealed on the podcast, but genuinely, no boy gossip at all. I am so single and honestly, I'm single and I'm thriving. My best friend Kara, as you guys literally see Kara in my videos, she's also single. We're in our hot girl summer era just thriving being single basically i can actually say this now on my channel because she gets the keys today and she would have posted by sunday i couldn't be proud out of caris like i genuinely think i could probably i'm not gonna cry but she's just bought her own house at 23 and i on her own and i honestly i'm so happy for her and i'm excited because it's basically my house as well we keep on making jokes of like how oh, it's literally my house missing courtney dearly you guys would have seen courtney in my tenerife vlog missing her my whole heart she can't come back quick enough she doesn't come back until september and i literally can't believe it what would you tell your 16 year old self 
honestly to not give a fuck and i feel like when you're at that age it's really hard to not give a fuck about what anyone thinks of you i cared way too much I used to do youtube back then as well and people used to make fun of me and i'm like why did i even care because that's kind of the reason why i had like such a gap in between uploading videos because obviously people used to say shit to me and i feel like when you're at that age it's so hard honestly i think that's genuinely the main advice i'd give to myself is to not care what anyone thinks of you also to not worry but like when i was 16 i thought i was so old but i was so fucking young and i honestly just acted like i was old but like don't stress yourself out about life like i stress myself out about life now and i'm like i actually am still really fucking young like just need to live in the moment and just enjoy everything. Oh, I'm getting really deep. This is way too deep for me. Me and getting deep, you guys know, just isn't a thing, but apparently it is. So look at my hair, guys. Am I a brunette? Yeah, I feel like I'm basically brunette. How dark my hair is. I feel like there's an improvement. I have got a half up, half down vibe going on right now, but she's getting there slowly, but surely. I mean, it does actually look quite short. Wait, if I pull it. Oh my god, it's at my nipples if I pull it straight. Look how dark my natural hair is. I literally can't believe it. But it's in really good condition at the moment. I've been using the K18 Molecule Repair. Would really, really recommend it if you've got blonde hair. It is so good. Let's go for a little drive because the drive was literally cut short on the way here. Okay, right, everyone can be with me whilst I try and reverse out of this space. Right, I'm not going to be able to talk because I'm going to be reversing, but... Stress. I'm doing it. Woo! Proud of myself for that. I do want to do a playlist video, by the way, but also I'm going to get copyrighted. So if everyone wants a playlist video, an updated playlist video, then please let me know because I will do it and I will get copyrighted for it, but it's fine. Like I've just got such a random but really good playlist at the moment. Like, you know, when you listen to the same playlist over and over, it's got like 15 songs on and I'm just loving it. Follow me on my socials. I've literally been in my gym girl era. You're probably thinking, Shannon, we know you're a fucking gym girl now. Can you stop posting about it? I've done two classes today, back to back. I've done 45 minutes legs, buns and tums. And then I done 45 minutes core class. Cause I was like, I'm going away next week. Like I need to, I'm gonna be doing a week of no gym. So I was like, I need to like push myself today oh my god it was hard i was literally dripping in sweat do you know what i done yesterday i told daisy this earlier and she honestly was like uh like what are you doing it's a mcdonald's and i got an iced latte you know the iced latte that mcdonald's do and then i got a mini mcflurry like mixed up the mini mcflurry so it melted a bit and then poured it in to the iced latte and it made me like a coffee milkshake and it was so good like so good if i didn't already have a coffee today i would have gone and got that and shown you like what i was doing that whole like girl dinner girl dinner me and Karis have been having girl dinners all week her mum and dad have gone away so i've been at Karis's all week like having dinner there the first few days we cooked a little bit the last two days we have not been bothered to cook at all we had the girliest dinner last night i bought 95p tesco's tomato mascarpone sauce we had pasta and some cheese and i was like this is such a girl dinner we both hate cooking and the day before we had literally jacket potato and beans got my camera overheated but anyyway yeah me and karis been having girl dinners all week but i'm gonna end this video here because i need to go and meet karis because she's just picked up her kitties i hope you did all enjoy this little drive with me catch up video if you did then please make sure to give it a big thumbs up subscribe down below and i will see you all in my next video